I like to think of a learning circle as a community of people who are interested in continuing to learn and who um, it's a group of people who are facilitated rather than being taught, so to speak, by an expert. Um, they are with somebody who might be learning as well about a particular subject. This is kind of just a new way to learn um, and it's um, not it's kind of getting away from that teacher student format that everybody is so used to and turning it instead to a peer supported uh, study group. Um, one of the most important things about a learning circle is that it's free because even if it's a class that has a fee attached to it online, uh, the library will, can take care of that cost. The library can subscribe to courses that cost money for people to subscribe to. And so it's an opportunity to try something out for free. Another characteristic of a learning circle is that everyone learns from each other. Um, there's a lot of open discussion. There's the opportunity to um, work independently at your own pace at home and then come in and share what you've learned with others. A learning circle is different than a class because you don't have a teacher. There's not that traditional teacher-student relationship. It's more about peer learning. It's about um, learning from other people's experiences, bringing your own experiences into the material that you're taking in, um, and really making it more personal than a class because you're building a little community where you're all trying to work towards the same goal, which is learning something new.